are the underground system that provides drinking water for D.C. and parts of Virginia is in dire need of repair. Yeah, the project will cost tens of millions of dollars and would clear some traffic issues along one major roadway over the next year. News Force Mark Seagraves has an exclusive look at the aging conduit and what's being done to fix it. This is a look inside the underground conduit that carries our drinking water from Great Falls into the district, much of it directly beneath MacArthur Boulevard. What people don't realize is these wa this water pipe is in some cases only 12 inches under the surface of the road. So you are driving directly on top of this pipe that is uh, quite old and it's unreinforced and so it's very important that people obey the weight limits on the roadway. An inspection in 2022 revealed problems with the aging tunnel. There's only one section that was particularly alarming uh, where uh, the cracks were very significant and the, the conduit itself, which is normally circular, uh, had started to compress into an oval shape at which point that's imminently uh, in, in a state of structural failure. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers believe the culprits are drivers in big trucks, ignoring the weight restrictions for MacArthur Boulevard. One problem is navigation apps like Waze that direct drivers along MacArthur Boulevard regardless of their weight. That has been our, one of our concerns, right? So Waze, uh, although it's very intelligent in some respects, it does not have that kind of information embedded in it, such as weight limits, and you can't type in, hey, I'm in a vehicle that weighs 30,000 pounds. Uh, so it will try to take you what it thinks is the best route. The work to repair the conduit, which was built in the 1860s, will take the rest of this year and will result in some above ground delays for drivers along MacArthur Boulevard, which will be down to one lane in some parts between Glenico and the DC line. The original intake here at Great Falls operates using gravity to move the water. While the conduit is offline for a year during repairs, the backup system at Little Falls will be used. That system relies on electricity, which costs about $10,000 a day to operate. Beneath the old conduit road, Mark Seagraves, News 4. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the project is slated to be completed by the end of 2024 and will cost about $21 million. Hey.